Hi! Welcome to CatTech! So, for today's tutorial, we will be making another isometric drawing. But, uh, but this time, I will be teaching you how to make a circle in isometric. So, again, let's check our units. The requirements is centimeter. So, make sure it's in centimeters. The precision is zero because all our dimensions is in whole numbers. Press OK. Now turn on your ISO draft. Start with line. Making sure F5 ISO plane. So 45, 70. It's 19. 10, 26. So, 60 minus 35 is 25. Going down is 35. And then 35. And then press enter. Change your isoplane again. F5. Line. 16. 17. 20. Then let's stop there do the upper part so 16 f5 f5 again so that is 5 and then let's just connect the line let's change our isoplane again for the top view so that's 20 let's connect the line 5, 16, F5, 19, and then let's just put a line and then 3 minus. So let's do the other one, F5, so 10, change to F5, this is also 10. 5, 26, 5, 5, and F5. We will do the circles later on. Let's continue doing all the lines. So this is 60. Change the isoplane. So now let's proceed with uh, the circle here. So what you need to do is to type ellipse. Enter. Select iso circle. Click the center. So we don't have center yet. So we need to... Escape first. Let's put a line or guidelines. Now, repeat the command ellipse. Select isocircle, center point, and then click the end point. Just copy. Copy up. F5, enter. Sorry. Again. Copy. F5. This point and then enter and then let's just trim those unwanted lines. Okay, let's just erase this part and remove this one and then let's do the other side. So again, repeat the command ellipse. Select isocircle. So this is our center point. And then trim. And then let's just trim this part. We don't need this anymore. So once complete, all we need to do is to put the hatch. Okay. 
can do all at the same time. I'm just pressing enter to repeat the command. Oh, you can select if you're not happy with it you can just select and then change it like that or you can go to match property select this part and then let's just copy those part that we want and then press enter so now type re to redraw our drawing let's put dimensions now So what I, I, I'm always doing is I just put all the dimensions and then later on I will uh, go to dimension edit to edit all the text. I'm not, I'm, and I'm not gonna put in all the dimensions anymore. I just want to show you how to do it. And then let's type dim edit oblique select this part enter oblique this one and this one now this part oblique there you go our exercise 18 so if you have any more questions uh, if you have any suggestions just comment down below and please do not forget to like subscribe and share for more video tutorial thank you for watching and God bless